Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of my Cedar Point Recreation Park. In the last episode, we started work on all of the outside the park decorations with the main parking lot. And today we're going to continue to work on some more stuff outside the park. Focusing specifically on the Lakeside Pavilion and the Hotel Breakers. We only have a few really major sections of building left to do, and that's what we're going to start with today. And Hotel Breakers is definitely a large and complicated building structure. Definitely one of the more challenging builds that we've had so far. You'll probably notice I spent a lot of time going back and forth with some different ideas about pathing and building texture, different ways to actually create the structures. All kinds of trying to be creative that makes this build take a very, very long time. And of course, it's a very large building, so all of the little fiddly decorations we do have to be done over and over again. It was pretty tough to find a wall texture for Hotel Breakers that I really liked. There aren't a lot of great non-custom scenery options for windows with walls in them. I start off here with the ones with the giant circular windows. Those look pretty terrible. So we switch over to using castle walls after a little bit. And those look, do look a little bit better. The windows are pretty small, but I think it's nicer overall than the gigantic circular windows that don't really match and look kind of goofy. There are a couple other options I played around with, like the Georgian wall set, but those walls tend to lack a little bit of texture. I might play around with those a little bit more later, but at this point, since the hotel is pretty much done being built, I don't want to spend a lot more time playing with different textures and trying to come up with different ideas for something that's kind of done. This build already took a thousand years to do, and I'm really just kind of glad to have it done. Especially for a part of the build that's not really part of the real focus. Although, of course, I do want to make them look as nice as I can. But you always have to balance how long you spend on one thing versus another. In addition to the hotel itself, we also have another pavilion area. Pretty similar to the one we did way back earlier on in the series. With the point pavilion area. This one's pretty much the same thing, just more footpath and mini golf four tables. And some nice wooden coaster roofs. Nothing too crazy here. A lot of the complication of this area was just in trying to make sure that everything was placed in the right area. I think I gave myself a little bit too much room for this pavilion. So if I made it take up the entire space, it would have been way too long. So I've been shifting some of the stuff back near Windseeker to make that plaza area a little bit wider. One side effect of that is that it might accommodate a little bit more space where the stadium used to be and where it's going to be some new construction coming up for next season. As of right now, I have no plans to replicate any of that, but if I ever change my mind, it would be nice to have a little bit more room over there for that. So this could help with that. Although I will probably have to move Windseeker to do that, and Windseeker is going to be a real pain to move because it's a very complicated shoestring. So I might not do that. We'll just have to wait and see how things go. By the way, I do, as always, want to give another giant shout out to Sadret Scenery Manager. It really helped make both the pavilion here and the hotel a lot easier to build. Especially the hotel, because it's a lot of repeated building structures over and over again. And placing all of those walls down by hand would have been an absolute nightmare to do. Very tedious, boring work. And having the Scenery Manager able to just copy and paste walls and track all at the same time for all this architecture was really handy. Like I said, this build already took way longer than it should have, and I'm glad I was able to cut some of that time down a little bit with some really good tooling. By the way, one fun trick I've been using for some of the windows for the Hotel Breakers. I don't remember where exactly I learned this, but a really cool trick is to use some mini golf station with the abstract style, and you just copy and paste a piece of that track, and it becomes a very nice looking window. That's a lot easier to put down than regular old abstract walls. It has a little bit more frame to it and is a lot easier to put down, so pretty handy technique. Aside from that, I don't think there's a whole lot interesting or unique to say about this build, just a whole lot of walls to put down. We also have some interesting road shapes and parking lots around here as well that need to get filled out. I did work on a little bit of that stuff today, but I feel like I should probably get all the rest of the buildings down first before I make too much headway into the parking lot infrastructure inside this part of the park. Since parking lot can be really tedious to tear out and rebuild if it turns out that you put stuff in the wrong spot. So I'm going to save all that stuff to as late as possible just to avoid any future headaches. 
But it is really nice to see this part of the park getting filled out, getting rid of some more ugly grids, adding in some vegetation always helps make things look nice. Even if the building is a little bit bland and repetitive in structure, but again, it's not the focus of the park itself. So hopefully it's not a huge deal that it's maybe not the greatest building I've ever made. There's still quite a few things about it I don't like and wish I had time to go back and change. Maybe I will go back and tweak this later, but I really just need to keep plowing forward with some of the other buildings inside the park here first. Trying to get as much done of this as I can with the precious little time on this earth that I have. I think that's going to about do it for today. Just a few major areas of large buildings left to do. There's some maintenance stuff across the parking lot here. Stuff on the other side of the peninsula and some stuff at the back, but we're starting to get close. Anyway, that's going to be all from me for today. Hope you enjoyed this episode. And as always, if you've got any comments, questions, or suggestions, please let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching.